As far as I'm concerned, November 13th, 2009 will be the end of the world. Columbia Pictures is putting out what some people are sadly taking as fact, the movie 2012. Now, you may note that in the movie, the supposed end date to all times is actually December 21st of 2012. But like I said, as long as there are people out there trying to convince me that I need to put on my best pair of Nikes and have plenty of Kool-Aid at my disposal, November 13th will be the disintegration of all that I hold dear in this world, namely my sanity. Thankfully, not everyone is convinced. NASA's senior scientist David Morrison is a breath of sane air in all of this madness. As the person who sees and answers all inquiries to NASA's Ask an Astrobiologist, he's having a rebuttal published. He points out the absurdity in the thinking a fictional planet made up, mind you, by a sci-fi writer, will make its orbit, which apparently only happens every 3,600 years, and collide with Earth. He also mentioned that the original collide date was sometime in May 2003. Yeah. When that didn't happen, they just moved the date up to coincide with the other, more popular doomsday, 1221 of 2012. Mr. Morrison also makes it clear that his very own desk calendar stops much sooner than the Mayan's calendar does on December 31st of 2009. But that in no way does he think that this may be a sign that the end of the world will be on that day. Seriously, even practicing Mayans don't believe in the 2012 craziness. I do think the one thing that makes me so mad is that movies like Paranormal Activity and The Fourth Kind look and in one case even say that it's the real thing. Yet people seem to be smart enough to know that they're just scary made-up stories. Much like The Boogeyman or The Scary Monster in Your Closet as a Child. Things that many people had believe existed that simply do not. The only good article I've read about this movie was actually an interview with its director. He gave out his eight rules of thumb for making these kinds of movies. My favorite, make it impossible. Basically, if it's something that you might see in real life, he doesn't want to put it in his movie. And because of that, I'll most likely go see 2012. However, I'm going for the enjoyment of a movie, not to pick up tips on how to survive such a disaster. To talk about another great topic that conspiracy theorists like, Join us live this Friday at 2 a.m. Coordinated Universal Time. This week's guest is Robert Godwin from Apogee Books and is the author of The NASA Mission Reports. And we will be honoring the 40th anniversary of the Apollo 12 moon landing. For more information, visit us at our website on spacevidcast.com.